Welcome back to Upper Michigan Today. Everybody, we're live at Apiary Life Studio in the Gosford Building in Ishpeming. We're here for our monthly empowerment session with Amy Turner and Kate Lewandowski of Be Well Market. Thanks a lot for having us in your space. Uh, I know our, our first order of business, we're talking about group healing and why this can be a beneficial thing. And I can't help but uh, relate it to my experience on the honor flight in this group coming together in this sort of healing experience, healing moment. Yeah. So it's a group healing is a really important thing. Um, so I do a lot of um, one-to-one work mm -hmm. with people as an emotional wellness life coach, and that is really, really important. And I recommend books, and that's important. I recommend journaling um, and doing different things and kind of feeling where things are in your body. Yet, there's only so much we can do on our own. So the group environment is incredibly important to kind of find things and work through things that maybe were um, habits developed when you were in other types of groups, like a classroom growing up, your family, your current workplace, um, any kinds of social circles that maybe you've been a part of and you're looking to shift or they don't have the answers. And so I have people who come into um, group programs, like we'll be talking about today, the Courage, Power, and Peace program, um, that they have said, we get halfway through you know, the course, and they'll be like, I have read stacks and stacks of self-help books. I have sought the things out. I've watched the videos, and I have never met anything so profound as this as a change for my life. And the reason for that is because it's one, um, a healthy container, and what I mean by that is there are some rules set that I have everybody agree to. Um, it's a space where non-judgment is invited, and we think, okay, not judging others, but really a lot of it is about not judging ourselves first, and that catches people. And things come up that we like to try to hide when we're in groups, right? We get fidgety or avoidant or speak over someone or any number of things, right? Um, and in this group, as a coach, I am there to support what's happening. And so I watch for when people are um, doing these behaviors. And because of the container we've created and the invitation and investment and willingness for authenticity and self-growth, the people are able to create a trust among the circle so that they can, in fact, meet those blockages and rise above them. Um, people find that even though they have so many different uh, walks of life, really, different ages. I work with people from, you know, 20-somethings into 70-somethings and everywhere in between in these groups. And they're all at different places. And every time they say, I can't believe how much I relate to every single other mm. person here. So it's incredibly powerful. Yet, it goes as far as the person is willing. Um, I was move. just going to say, it is very... I, I love the concept, but for somebody who maybe is not used to sharing or is maybe, you know, keeps their emotions or their trauma or, you know, some of those things inside a little bit, going in front of a group of strangers can be incredibly intimidating. So how does one like the concept and get past that first hurdle? Can, yeah, I would say um, I think part of the value of a group he, a session like that is that we do step on each other's toes and we do drive each other crazy. Yeah. And so, I mean, you, and ultimately there's going to be somebody in the group that triggers us. That's just like, uh, you know, that just really gets under our skin or whatever. And we could shy away from that, or we could actually lean into that and realize, wow, this is actually an opportunity. It, that person, that person that's driving me crazy might actually be the one that's showing me the most, the place I probably need to work on the most. And so we can use it as an opportunity in which when we're just by ourselves, it's really easy to just sweep things under the rug of like, ooh, that one's the yucky part. We'll just ignore it. Whereas in a group, you know, people bring those things to light and we can't ignore it. Yeah. And we are such social creatures too. I mean, yeah. we are influenced all the time in everything that we do. So why not let those people influence us in a good way? I mean, a lot of times social influence can, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but we can let it be a bad thing, but we don't have to let it be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll even talk about that a little bit more. Um, I have a lot of common fears that people have. That's one of them. Um, and 
The answer that I have to that common fear is met through the program. So when I invite people in, um, I kind of prep them a little bit on an intake call, uh, which usually has people going, oh yeah, I, I definitely want that. And the other thing is in the circle itself, um, on our very first session, we create a community and the invitation then is for people not necessarily to jump really far out of their comfort zone, but to walk little by little so that they're in charge of how much they share and don't share. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Well, it sounds like a, a really interesting concept. I know for me, when I get in front of a group and it's time to like share feelings and things, I tend to be like uh, the funny one. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I try to make everyone laugh. If things get kind of serious, I'm the gal that's going to like whoo, try to lighten the mood, lighten. And right, I, I, because if <laughs> things are funny, it's less uncomfortable, yeah. maybe. And I know that I do that, yeah. but it also kind of shelters me from really sharing mm -hmm. in, in a full way. And I also know I do that. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> when you walk into these moments, how do you kind of, you know, I'm just thinking if I were to do this, like how would I leave that at the door and open myself up in a way? Mm. That's maybe a little bit more she helpful. Said it, the little, the little by little, the yeah. little step by step. Yeah, yeah. You're not just going to dive off the deep end. Yeah. yeah. Bit, and yeah. The, the other thing to remember when you come in is there's a skilled facilitator and a safe container. So that is literally my job to have you not do that alone. That's the point of joining the group. Sure. Yeah. I love safe container. <laughs> I, I, I've never heard that term before, and I think I'm probably going to carry it forward. I need to find a safe container. <laughs> Mine's probably in the woods, but you know, I mean, I, I can see that being all over. Okay, well, this is just the beginning of a very big uh, show today and conversation. We do have to take a quick break, um, but we'll be back. We'll be right back and keep it going.